the Boeing 787 has another problem. This time it has to do with its radio communication systems sourced by Collins Aerospace. The fault causes very high frequency radio channels to transfer between active and standby windows of the plane's tuning control panel, which could lead to flight crew missing communications. We take a look at the issue for today's video. According to Regulations.gov, the Federal Aviation Administration or FAA is currently working to finalize an airworthiness directive for select Boeing 787 models spanning across all variants. The agency is taking comments concerning the directive until April 14th, which may have already passed depending on when you're watching this video. In this case, the FAA is concerned with the Tuning Control Panel or TCP on the Dreamliner. The airworthiness directive was proposed following several reports that very high-frequency radio frequencies transfer between active and standby windows of the TCP. This occurs without flight crew input, drawing concerns about the potentially dangerous impacts of this event given how critical communications with air traffic control can be. Indeed, these frequency changes could potentially lead to missed communication between the aircraft's crew and air traffic control which could have deadly consequences given the right circumstances, or wrong circumstances. As a result, the airworthiness directive the FAA is working on would require operators to update the operational software used by the TCP and perform software configuration checks as well. Unfortunately, the suggested fix has not been working for everyone. Qatar Airways reported that it has already modified all affected 787s with new loadable software aircraft parts, or LSAPs, on all tuning control panels to address the problem. However, the airline's flight crews operating the modified aircraft are still reporting the issue, indicating that this change may not be enough to fix the problem. The airline is asking the FAA to reconsider its mandate to better address the reported issue. Part of the actual comment from the Middle Eastern carrier reads, Qatar Airways flight crew are still reporting similar issues from post-mod planes. QTR already reported the events to Boeing slash Collins Aerospace for further investigation and root cause determination. Boeing slash Collins already acknowledged the issue and FTD is updated with the same information. It's again not a great look for Boeing, which has faced issue after issue. However, with this comment from Qatar Airways, it's a clear reminder that the problem being discussed has to do with communications equipment produced by Collins Aerospace and not manufactured by Boeing. For those who don't yet know, when it comes to avionics and communications equipment, aircraft manufacturers big and small source such systems from companies like Collins and Honeywell. So, what do you think of this issue? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.